holler and holler back. Holler back. Joey Hollenbeck. One, um, we're recording now. I did one video. Is that what that means when you push the button? Yeah, I hit the record at the red button there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And my, uh, thanks for the heads up. With Aaron, my cousin, Aaron Center, he wants to, he loves that you're a food guy. Loves it. He listens to these episodes. We're the third on his list. Like he listens to Dan Lebetard and something else. And then Let's cook. Mitch and then us. Let's cook. He he's so he's a chef, right? Yeah. And so he's like a head chef. And so he's all about like so the episode I'm releasing is gonna talk about Super Bowl snacks and so what what do you what's your go to? What do you bring? Oh nice. Stuff like that. And then he start, and then we started talking about like when I met Richard Sherman at the casino and gambled with Richard Sherman and then Mike Blowers and when Mike Blowers cussed me out uh, at the casino and why? So I'll t- <clears throat> I'll tell I'm already going to release this. You're going to hear this. I'll tell you this for the first time. You haven't probably haven't heard this. Okay, hold on. So I'm at the Muckleshoot Casino and I'm playing blackjack. It's after a Mariners game. I'm actually watching Root Sports above me, where they're doing the replay. And then sitting next to me, who, who sits down, Mike Blowers, and I'm watching him on Root Sports in the same shirt because he's he's commentating and all that. And I'm like, that's crazy. Inception, this and that. I'm drinking. I'm having a good time. I'm having fun. I'm with a buddy. And I'm just a chatterbox. <clears throat> I don't know if you know this. I like to talk a little bit. Okay. Anyway, I'm like chatting it up, you know, 20 minutes into this blackjack, you know. You're talking with him or just talking? Just talking. <laughs> talking can, to my buddy. I can see that. Talk- <laughs> <laughs> talking to the left of me, the right of me. Waitress is coming up, talking to them, talking to the dealer. Just talking. Believe it or not, I'm not playing. I'm out of money. I'm with my friend. He's playing. But I'm sitting there. Super annoying. Mike Blowers turns to me and he goes, hey, what's your name? And I go, Travis. And he goes, Travis what? And I go, Travis Kenny. He goes, well, Travis Kenny, if you're my friend, I'll tell you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really yell at you. He's just telling you shut the fuck up. Yeah, he told me shut the fuck up. So then I was like, oh, okay. And then the rest of the night, once we left, my friend was like, dude, Mike Blowers told you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> so anyway, told that story because Aaron had a Blow Pow Power Hour, uh, Mike Blowers. Uh, he, Aaron had his own like one on one when he was a kid. Mike Blowers put on this, like, this. Uh, I don't know, camp, this youth baseball camp, and he rested his arm. So we were talking about Starstruck on the last episode. Um, he was talking about how he was Starstruck with, uh, with Blowers. Him, with Blowers, yeah. yeah. So That's cool. Well, how, where did Sherman come in? So Sherman, uh, people that listen to this loyalty, I'm a little drunk. People that listen to this loyally... <laughs> I appreciate that you guys hear these same stories probably throughout. My wife comes home. She's like, yeah, you told that story already on this episode. But listen, I got to tell my guests too. got to tell the hosts. got to tell the other people out there. Got to reel people in. Yeah. Okay. So Richard Sherman played craps with him at Muckleshoot Casino. Just him. So I was playing roulette. It's like 11 o'clock at night. It's late at night. And a handful of people are at the tables. Just me and – well, I – I it's played like a Tuesday or something. Or yeah, it's it? like a Tuesday. It's exactly. It's like a Tuesday or Wednesday, just there. And I put, and I've seen him there before. I played blackjack with him before. I didn't play with him. I watched him play. He was like five hundred dollars a hand. Like it was insane. And all I could do is just watch. And there's a little bit of crowd around them. The 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 floor and the dealers they do a good job of like keeping people up. Yeah, move on, move along, buddy. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this time I'm playing roulette. I put my, I'm sprinkling my money all over the table, but I put it on Seahawk numbers, number uh, three, 24, 25, 31, and it hits on 25. My birthday is October 25th, so I love that too. 25, hit it, boom, won like 300 bucks, stoked. And I actually said, because I told the dealer, I do nothing but Seahawk, Seahawk numbers, boom, 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 boom. Richard Sherman went in 25 hit. 
Like the cool guy. Like the one of those cool guys that are just like they win big and they say something cool. Yeah. That was me. Okay. And I said, Richard Sherman. Cool. No joke. It was like same Beetlejuice. juice. Five seconds later, he's walking by me. I cash out. I know exactly what he's doing. He's going straight to the craps table. I go and he's got a hood on. It's with his brother who also kind of looks a little bit like him, dreads and everything. And he, he doesn't have a hood on. But he goes straight to the craps table. They open up a craps table for him. I walk up. Just like I got all this three hundred bucks, I'm ready to play, and I go, "Is this just? Is this like I pretend I don't know who it is? Yeah. Like I'm like, is this like a reserve table or something? Can I can I get on this because it's just him?" And he's like, "No, no, man, you play, you play, play with me. I need, I need someone else to play with you. How do you play?" <laughs> I'm like, "I just took a craps in my pants." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll play. Can you show me how? <laughs> this, this is what they call blackjack. So I uh, he's on the other side of me. And, or, or, or sorry, the other side of the table. So we're facing each other. He's on one end, I'm on the other. I've gone, I've played craps with a few of my friends. I don't know if I can say their names on here because I don't know if they want people knowing that they play craps, but I played craps with them. And so I, like I, I kind of know what I'm doing for the most part. It's a good game. It's a fun game. You can win a lot you of money. You can win a lot of money. It can go fast too. I've only lost a couple of times playing craps. We should go play right now. I'm done. Okay. So. I put out money. He puts out money. I'm putting out like 10, 15 bucks. He's out there putting like 150, 250, 150 here all over. I'm rolling. He's like, roll me a five. Boom. No joke. Roll a five. He's like, yeah, nice job, man. He's like, his girlfriend's there now. It was fiance or his wife now, but fiance or whatever. And I've seen like Maple Valley. I've seen them. Or I've seen her come through. They used to live all the way out there. Yeah, t- pick it up, Kate. Pick it up. Let's talk. Let's talk. This is unedited. Talk to me, Mama. Hey, am I on the podcast? Yes. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, it's, going up. it's going pretty good. I have Kendall, podcast, Sophie, yes. <laughs> uh, Brooklyn, Frank's Frankie, and Cap. Dropped Harlow off the Mullins, and I have we have a giant gift basket that Lori made for Chris. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Sounds Here fun. Almost to summit, uh, okay, well, I'll call you when I'm out of here. I love you. Did she hang up? No. Are you there? No, I'm still here. You want to ask me something? Yeah, Kate. Uh, have you ever been starstruck before? I'll do one. Uh, yeah, today. Today. You were starstruck. I saw Benicio O'Brien at Stan Ferrente. <laughs> I wasn't starstruck though. Who's so that? Who is that? It's like a that's a guy that just that's a good dude that just wanted yeah, to make his got talent. Getting his hair done. I was like, oh, he's that's from Maple Valley. Who, who who is he? He won. Didn't he win like America's Got Talent? Yeah. He was like voice. And then when I remember, he's when a I singer. Was, he just wanted America's Got Talent. Wow. When yeah. I was in high school, we took a road trip and we stopped at this beach, Half Moon Bay, and Robin Williams was there filming a movie, and he waved at us and said something really funny, and so I thought that was I was like so. I mean, I thought that was. What about uh, what about when you met me? <laughs> no, not quite you, but when you took me to the Seahawks Christmas party, that was pretty crazy. Oh, that's oh, pretty crazy. Oh, wait, actually, I got a good one. When I found out that Cortez Timothy was in the back of my jeans and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, that was crazy. Say what, you're driving around with Cortez <laughs> Kennedy in the back? That's a story for another podcast, though. All right, we'll share that one later. <laughs> All right, gotta go. Uh, good seeing you. Good seeing you. Did you just see her? I just saw her. Someone's warming up their, like, monster truck. Can you Outs- hear that? Outside, yeah. Outside. What is up? Hopefully that doesn't mess up our unedited podcast. So anyway, I roll a five. Richard Sherman's like, dude, roll another five. Roll it again. I get another five. But the thing is, he's pressing it. He's not taking the chips. He's pressing it. Press my bet. Press my bet. Press my bet. He doesn't win anything because he just keeps it on the table. Until you. And then I eventually crap right in front of him. Roll a seven, he loses it all, and he leaves. And I'm like, dude, why drive all the way from Maple Valley to freaking Muckle Shoot? I see you walk in. You play only craps with me. You don't go anywhere else. You don't take any of the money and keep it for the next game. Hopefully, you press, you press, you press, you press, you press, and then you leave. Did you leave after that or did you keep playing? I was pissed. <laughs> I had all these things I wanted to talk to him about. I was like, hey, my daughter's name's Madden. She loves Richard Sherman. Hey, uh, can I get a little picture with you? I, I was thinking with all the stuff afterwards where I'm going to win him money. And he's like, yeah, bro, you want me some money? 
Absolutely. Never did it. He left. I was like, what the heck? It's terrible. What is that? Who's warming up their truck? I don't know. Is that a truck? Or a generator or something. I don't know. It's all right. It's not coming up. It's not coming up on our deal. You're good. Better not be. Okay, so. Well, your wife was starstruck for you. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. She's rude. That's kind of rude. I felt like she should have at least lied. Mm-hmm. I agree. Just for that, I'm going to the muckle shoots after this. Was my mom? Was my mom a little starstruck when yeah. she at Costco? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she listened to this one. She listened to that one. I don't know. She goes, I don't. You know, that's not exactly what had happened. But he was. He was looking in the air when he was at the meat at the meat department. He was. Did looking, she, I thought you said she doesn't listen to it. She listened to that one because I mentioned her. I said, "Hey, I mentioned you in this one." Did she? Did she laugh at the? Uh, the part, the part where we had, did she, was she, she was probably bashful about that. When yeah, we had, when we yes. shared the frozen, yo, the froyo. Yeah, the froyo and, and the, the pizza, pizza and all that. Yeah, she was a little bashful because she was like, to her, that's like for her. I, I'm oversharing, but hey, blame the space dust. When I grew up, my mom, she worried about the littlest stuff, stuff that nobody else worried about. Like she would say, "Hey." You had your friend over last night, and he hung out, and he was there, and you guys spent the night, and you guys played later, and blah, blah, blah. Did he notice our dirty tablecloth, though? Like, it had, like, toast crumbs on it. <laughs> and I'm like, you think my 12-year-old friend, like, was like, I don't know. It would have, it's a great day. We had a lot of fun playing video games, staying up late, eating, eating pizza and drinking popcorn. But those toast crumbs <laughs> on that tablecloth. <laughs> so I think she was probably a little self-conscious. Why? I don't know. She just meet, meets you for the first time. Have you ever been self conscious? You ever, when you were a kid, giving out, re, you know, doing a report like in front of the classroom or, bro? Let's talk about self conscious. Yeah, I was looked like a sixth grader in f- kindergarten because I was so big. I had a mullet with a spike on top. Yeah, I was self conscious. I had teeth. I had teeth of a thirty year old when I was like <laughs> in sixth grade. So I looked like. Like, I had like full adult teeth at that time, so I, I had to grow into full my caps. teeth. Full caps. I had to grow into my teeth. Looks like I had two dice in the front. <laughs> Did you ever? Uh, I I I love because I feel like you're very you're a pretty uh, good looking um, guy. Thanks. Yeah, that you're you're a very good looking dude. You're buff. Um, you should have all the confidence in the world. Was there? Did you ever at the time when you were all this? When you were the college guy, this play football, did you ever not have confidence? Did you ever like whether it was talking to girls or maybe even like working with others or I've never been good at talking to the girls unless I have like a couple cocktails in me. And, and then you're just then Rico can, Suave? Then I can put my mouthpiece in and start spitting game. <laughs> 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 I haven't done that since I met my wife. Well, I, I I was assuming. Well, obviously, like yeah, that was she knows all about the She knows your game. Yeah. Were you ready? Was your were you ready to retire your game when you met her? You were like, I'm done. I, this game is so perfect. This, this game is so good. I'm so good with this skill that I've made. But after a few months, yeah, I was I okay. Mean, so then at that point, you're like, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, obviously, I was all in from the beginning. But like to say that, like, this is it. Yeah. Well, let's just pretend I'm in a bar. Okay. I'm putting your game to the test. Mm-mm. Yeah. Come on. I would never spit game at you. <laughs> well, no, let's just do it. Pretend I'm pretty. Like, use your imagination. No. All right, I'm just chilling here. Just having this drink. Space no. test. Okay, myself. next thing. I'm not doing that. No, no, hold on. It's, like, it's got to be the heat of the moment. Let's pretend. Okay, then I'll get hot for you. No. Well, here, hold on. I'm unzipping my, 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 just a little bit. This guy. I'm showing a little, a little chest. Ooh, let's drink of this beer. No. I sure hope some guy talks to me. Look at that let's big tall your, guy. Let's hear your pickup line. Let's, take a look over there. let's hear oh, your pickup line. What's he going to say? What are you going to say? Chick needs to grow her hair out. <laughs> <laughs> my pickup line was the fish fi- was the fish line. Dude, you want to hear my fishing story? She's like, yeah, bruh. And I'm like, I once caught a fish this big. Nah, it was this big. Nah, it was this big. Nah. And then you'd like put... You'd put the arm around her. You just keep putting your arms out. Yeah. And then, uh, wait, no, you know what? It was this big. Suck her in. Yeah, bring her right in. Her. Okay. Yeah. Or 
say, hey, you want to go drive up to Crystal? And I don't know where Crystal's at. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> hey, you want to go on a date with me? Drive you out to the middle of nowhere and leave you for dead? <laughs> <laughs> Pop this nice bottle of Martinelli's, lay the blanket out in the back seat. <laughs> wish, wish you were, at, <laughs> wish you weren't here. <laughs> Absolutely, get scared. Did you ever? Uh, I did this. I actually made this uh, back in the day with Zach Peterson. Valentine's Day is coming up, so Valentine's Day cards. Sending out those Valentine's Day, you know, when you'd fill those out, you get that class list. And I, did you ever strategically go, okay? Obviously, this about this teenage mutant no. turtle about you never did. You no. just put their names on it, moved on. Yeah, you didn't think anything about it. No. So for me, everything's alphabeticalized. Okay. I would pick the three girls that I really liked, find the best Valentines for them. Okay. Pick the three dudes that I didn't want to give them, like, "Hey, love you, bro. Love you. You're the best." Pink hearts. I'd find the manliest ones for them because I didn't want to hear shit from them later. And then I would just go through the rest of my list. I get down to Zach Peterson because he's a Z. And he would get like whatever is like the last one, which inevitably turned out to be some lovey-dovey like, I just love you as my friend and I will love you forever. <laughs> and and then I feel like he uh, probably had a lot of, because he was a Z of the last of the list, he probably got a lot of mixed feelings towards people because they were throwing some mixed feelings towards him. Could be. You never, you never thought about that. Not that I recall. Didn't game plan it. Not that I recall. Who was your crush? Middle school crush. Can you say the name? Middle, I'm mean, not middle school. Uh, elementary school. Did you ever have like that? I feel like I had like multiple girlfriends in in elementary school. Nothing like. No crush. No. You never had a crush. I, not that I remember. What? You, you didn't have that one where you fall in love with? Like you're, you're like, oh man. No. Not in fifth grade, sixth grade? No. Dude, okay, so I'm kitty corner to the people now. I'm going to say it. Shauna Wagner was mine. I live by Doug and and, and uh, Faye right now. Faye came to a fifth grade Mrs. Van Epps. Uh, she was like helping out for some uh, field trip. On the field trip, we're at the Seattle Opera. I'm like, you know what? I'm in love with her daughter. I ain't afraid of it say that and i sat there next to her to the mom to the mom and i go mrs wagner i got the biggest crush on your daughter i think she's the greatest and she kind of was like that's cute restraining order <laughs> <laughs> i told mrs van epps i said i got the i got balls now i went and told mrs van epps you know what that didn't work with the with the mom. I'm going to tell the teacher. She's going to start sitting me by her. I say, Mrs. Van Epps, I've got a huge crush on Shauna Wagner. That didn't work, believe it or not. At, but but this is just, these are the two adults that I've told. I didn't tell any of my friends yet. Andy Ainsworth comes up to me on Valentine's Day when we're having that party, you know, where you guys put like Valentine's Day snacks and this and that, you know, like those, we were just talking about the cards. I say, he goes, hey, Trav, who's your crush, man? Andy, Shauna Wagner. That's who my crush is. Thinking, this could get somewhere at this point. And it did. To her. To her. And the whole class. We're at the party, end of the day party. Remember those? We you have the Halloween or whether it was Valentine's Day or whatever. You kind of go through like some like arts and crafts and maybe some lessons here and there. But at the end of the day, the end of the day, that's where the pop came out. That's where the candy came out. That's where the chips came out. And it was just goofball. Dirty secrets came out. Dirty secrets came out. Exactly. Mrs. Van Epps left the class. Don't know why. Now it's all the kids. Andy Ainsworth with his solo cup as if we're in college. Solo cup full of pop stands up on his chair and goes, I'd like to make an announcement. Travis, would you like to tell everyone who you like? Who's your Valentine? And I'm sitting there, half of me going, oh, this is terrible. Then the other part of me is going, this could be good. This could be good. This is going to get out there. And then we'll see where I, where I, where, you know, where, where I stand on this whole situation. 
Shauna Wagner. No joke. Two minutes later, Rebecca Gamblin comes up to me. Tyson, good friend. His sister comes up to me and says, Shauna doesn't like you. Ruined my Valentine's Day. Ruined it, huh? <laughs> what do you do for Valentine's Day these days? Make a dinner? Go out to I dinner? Cry, what I do cry. you do? I cry. <laughs> I cry a lot. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? I don't. I just take her to, like, I don't know. Cause, I don't know the casino. I don't know. Take her to dinner. I like Kelly's. I go to Kelly's. You're a hopeless romantic. What do you do? Do you, do you cook some filet mignon? Uh, we usually try to make a nice dinner. This year we're going to, well, not on Valentine's Day, but like the next week we're going to San Diego. San Diego. I like how you said that. Yeah. Sunny and San Diego. Yeah. San Diego. What are you guys going to do? Rage. Rage? No, we're bringing the whole, all the kids and everybody. Well, I'm actually going next week, too. Wait, you're going, wait, two? As in you're going two times out of San, yeah. San Diego? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's one of our good friends' 40th, so we're going down there for a long weekend, and mm. then we're going back again in like another middle uh, midwinter break for the kids mm. down there, so they can, we can get away and got a sweet house on Mission Beach. So is is that person returning the favor for your 40th? They'll be there. They're coming up. Yeah, it's Brad's Brad's wife stuff. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. Do you know Brad through Brad's? Wa- uh, wait. Is Brad going down there, and then you're going like they're tr- they're traveling down there? They don't live down there, right? Brad, yeah, he oh. lives up here. Yeah, but they're traveling down there to celebrate. We're all going down to celebrate stuff. Gotcha. Birthday. I thought that for you the were, long like, weekend, meeting and up then, with them. No, then we're all going down there. Well, my whole family, Kate and the girls and I are going down for midwinter break. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So, how long is that trip? Like uh, just a couple days, Friday into Sunday. Which one? The, the the one the the Thursday to Sunday or something. Nice. Yeah. That's fun. When is how old's Brad? Has he turned forty yet or is he gonna turn forty? Is he younger? He's like forty one. Oh he is? Forty two. Oh, he's a little younger. Forty two. He you know he he, he don't look forty two. Get off his nuts. Uh, you he You're backpedaling from the other podcast you talk smack about. No, nah, I don't talk smack about he looks like thirty two. I thought he was thirty two. Are you sure? <laughs> Get off be. his nuts. <laughs> Hey Brad, he, he's my center, and I'm his quarterback, and I'm just rubbing his nuts as I'm <laughs> as I'm as I'm taking the as taking the snap, pumping him up. <laughs> um, you're turning forty, yeah. Forty, Feb twenty sixth. What is it? What's it? What's the theme? What's it going to be like? My the, my party. Yeah. Talk about uh, it. It is going to be. I think she's. We got a taco truck. No joke. Are you serious? Yeah, we got a taco truck come in. We got uh Shut up. Are you serious? Yeah, Mike Martinez DJing. We got a we <laughs> DJ got a, Mike check. <laughs> we got a uh he's going to be dropping bangers all night. Bangers. We got a uh sweet venue night at uh Can you say it? Can you say it? Uh, probably not. Yeah, no. But it's a it's, sweet it's venue. It's a good venue. Yeah, Space we got a good. We got a. <laughs> you have to take the elevator down to get your tacos from the taco truck, and, yeah. then, and then head back up. No, we got a good venue, and then we're gonna. Um, it's like a speakeasy theme, so like we gonna be whiskey cigar bar. Um, Wait, there's gonna be cigars there? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, whiskey cigar bar. Kind of dress up in your. Uh, yeah, what am I wearing to this thing? Speakeasy twenties ish. So Here. I'm wearing a vest, wearing a hat, little hat, a little paper boy hat. Yeah, and the ditty. Yeah, it'll be fun. So I just want I just want bottles of bourbon for my birthday. That's what I was gonna ask. What, what can we bring you? Bourbon. Bourbon. That's your favorite. What's yeah. your t- What's your favorite type of bourbon? Uh, I don't know. I like them all. You don't have like a specific. I like Basil Hayden's pretty good. What do you like making out of your bourbon? Like, what do you drink with your bourbon? I do like a uh, old fashions or anything like that. Yeah, but I keep. I just put like an orange peel in with it. Yeah, I don't put the sugar cube in it. Do you put the can or not the like a candied cherry as well or no? Like a uh, there's only I don't I'm not a huge cherry guy. The only place I really like cherries are like at the Heritage Distillery. Yeah, they have these cherries that are insane from like Italy or some shit. Really, They're so good, dude. They're insane. But how did you even try it if you're not a cherry guy? Was it just like by chance? 
somebody tried it and he's like, dude, you got to try it when we were there. I have a cask there, like a barrel. Yeah. So we make our own whiskey there. Oh, really? And it's it's like a five gallon, I guess, or something. Yeah. But um, they every time you go in there, you get free drinks because you have a cask there. So I always get the old fashioned. They always put this in there. And I'm like, I like, you know, all the cherries. These guys like, you got to try one of these cherries. And I'm like, I'm not a cherry guy. He's like, just try uh, it. Just try it. Yeah. And it was legit. And so, and but so I don't put the, cherries in it when I make it at home. I just just scrape the orange peel off, yeah, muddle it a little bit with ice, and then pour some whiskey on it. So, what? Uh, the, have you had the Kelly's smoked old fashioned here? Not yet, no, dude, the best. Well, you never invite me there. <laughs> I'm inviting you right now. That at some point this year, we're going down there. Okay, okay. This year, it's like 20 days into the year. <laughs> Me December thirtieth. Are we gonna still do that? Out. Oh shoot, that's right, Rain Shack. I owe you. Yeah. Um. There goes your invite to Cook's Giving next year. Dang it! Oh, dang it! Okay, I gotta do. I gotta do better than this. Um. Uh, well, that so so bring bourbon. No, you don't have to bring bourbon. I'm just saying. Is there anything else? I mean, like, do do you see? Dude, you know what? Honestly, like, yeah. I'm not like you're not a pre- you're not a present guy. Everyone, people's presents. P R E S E N C E. If they come with bourbon, is enough. <laughs> That's their present. Your present. I was think I'm going to start collecting bourbon. Do you want empty bottles of bourbon that we can bring you? No. That, no, <laughs> no it's just like the bottles. You know, it's kind of cool. No. I could drink it all and then give you no. the bottle. No. I want bourbon. Okay. Okay. Let's do bourbon. My boy down in Portland had his 40th. We That's who I went to Nashville with for his 40th. And uh, I didn't go to the party because we were going to Nashville. Mm hmm. Which was a week, a couple weeks before we went to Nashville, but I just couldn't make it. He got like forty bottles of bourbon, like insane amount. He had like boxes of it. So you're drinking that the rest of your life? I mean, maybe Uh, at least ten years. No. How many times are you drinking bourbon? Once a night? (sighs) Maybe you never know. I never know. I do never know. Yeah. All I know is that I always get promised Keto Tommy is going to come on this thing. Well, last night was a freak thing. I had to go to a dinner thing. Oh, was he going to be there last night? Yeah. Oh, okay. We, let's get him on next week. We need to get Keto Tommy on. Let's get him on next Tuesday. Okay. Keto Tommy. Um. Other than that, other than bottles of bourbon, do people bring you cougars, like Coog stuff, and you're just like, sweet? Or you're like, listen, I got like a hundred things now. No, right I here. love Coog stuff. You can never have enough Coog stuff. Really? So if people are just like, always, mm-hmm. you got your charcuterie board that's like a cougar's like wood burned in there and i don't have one of those so that's a good thing if, yeah. so if someone were looking for a cougar gift maybe yeah. charcuterie a uh, charcuterie board there you go you should start repping that write that down write it down right now charcuterie board dude i bet you'd sell so many of those if you could mass produce them and we talked about this you're like hey you got two boats you got the husky boat and you got the cougar boat and the husky boat. They got the charcuterie boards, this and that. But how great would it be if on that boat with the huskies, there is that charcuterie board and they're just eating the meat off it and then the cheese and all of a sudden it like reveals Dude, they've been yeah. eating off a cougar charcuterie board the entire time. It's legit. Dude. It's legit. I'm here for you, man. Come great stuff for you all the time. Dude, I'm trying to. I want to invent something or something. Talk about that. I don't know what it is. I just got this weird, like, I feel like it's like I'm on the edge, but I don't know what it is yet. Like, are you talking like it's going to help society? Like it's a technology thing? Or Dude, is it I just like a... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to invent something. I've invented something in my head. What is it? And this is only because I was... This is, this is for those young parents with those babies. You need to have a nipple adapter... For water bottles. So then you just dump the formula in, a arrowhead, friggin' throw a nipple adapter on there, shake it up, boom, water bottle. Won't work. How so? Too much BPA in water, bo- in water <laughs> bottles. You don't want to <laughs> give that shit to your baby. That's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right, crossing that one off the list. <laughs> I want to invent the charcuterie board. <laughs> Have you always been an inventor? Have you always thought about how can I make? Yeah, t- don't stop. I always do, but I can't. Like, do you got little knickknacks at home? No, I just think of stuff, and then you just never write stuff down. You never act on it. 
Mm-hmm. Like I don't really know where to start. Like, let's say that that that, that uh, we we rummage through some you know you're gone one day and I break into your house, which I usually do, and I rummage through your stuff and I find like this notepad, like a Michelangelo, like you've got things that are drawn out, this and that. Yeah. Do you have stuff like that? No, not like a notepad, just stuff. Napkins that you yeah, kind of scribble whatever. on. Like I just think of stuff and do it. I need to keep one by my bed. So you can just that's write. a good you wake up in the middle of the night write it down then wake up the next morning and go what the heck was i talking about here this, yeah. make, this makes no sense whatever though i thought of this one like years ago dude when kate and i first started dating i was like i'm gonna come up with basically something that will like it, it'll show on your windshield so you don't have to look at your speedometer it'll show all your stuff on your windshield so you don't have to look at your speedometer you don't have to do anything right it, but the other people coming at you can't see it it's right. just like a you know, you don't have to look down off. You don't have to look away, you know. And then I started doing a ton of research, like really diving into it to like move forward on it. And they're like, oh, yeah, Tesla or some shit's coming out with that or yeah. somebody's coming it's out. It's like a $10,000 some windshield. High, some high end whatever, you know. So I was like, well, that ain't going to work. But I was, I took it a step further. Like even like, you know, police officers could have that up there, but like just have like a keyboard, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they don't have to like look at their computer or whatever, you know. That's a good idea. I don't know. I think of stuff all the time. I just don't know how to act on it. Mm. Can we can we do something? Can we start adding in? If you think, if you, you know, it doesn't have to be every single episode, but if you do, just come, everything I everything yeah. I threw out there, just people are just patting and left and right. <laughs> they know what to do with it. I don't. Just people making yeah. millions off you my just, ideas. You just tell them, hey, this is your free. This is your free money for the day. This is really weird. We got so many followers now. All of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, we're just blowing up. <laughs> Oh, Elon Musk is following us. Yeah. <laughs> there goes that. Um, what, uh, so so not practical things here and there. Whatever whatever sounds good, you like, hey. No, I'm I gonna, try to think outside the box of something that's practical that like it would be helpful for me in my day-to-day or whatever that I think would help other people in their day-to-day. What, like, is it hindrances? Well, let's say your wife's always calling you, whether you're in a podcast or not on a podcast, but she's always calling. She doesn't always call. I'm just kidding. But when she calls, is that a hindrance? No. No. I like it. Do you have anyone that calls you that you wish no. didn't call you? No. That's good. I like interacting. You're good at that. I actually mentioned that on a mic on the mic. Hey, thanks. Did you Did you hear that? Did I hear it, yeah. The Kay. newest one? Uh, I think it was. Is that... Mike likes to call people. You also like to call people. Yeah. Not many people use their phones to call people. They use now. It's all texting. Yeah, I'd rather Facetime. It's crazy. How many Facetimes do you do in a night? Not very many. But let's say you're t- you're tuned up. You. Besides me. That's it. You don't like don't, you're hitting up Josh. You're not hitting up. Uh, Josh. So Josh has a like a Google phone. <laughs> Like a, flip, like a flip phone? By, no, like he swears by like whatever he has, like a Samsung or like the Google Pixel phone or something. He like swears by it. it like he's like, I'll never get an iPhone. I'm like, dude, I said the same thing like 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty legit. <laughs> I, I had, that, that was me too. That was me too until yeah. I bought the like, Samsung Galaxy 7 yeah, that was GS. catching on fire. Yeah. I had it and I was like, I'm not getting rid of this thing. Me this too. is the hottest yeah, thing. Android Mark or Android, the Android app store or whatever it was back at the time. And then the fun would just spontaneously combust on you and like yeah. burn down your house. You'd have to kick out the battery every once in a while just to reset the dang thing. Remember it was like the one that was get got recalled. Oh, because it was get- I had like the brand new <laughs> I got it like two days after it came out. I needed a phone. I'm like, oh yeah, I just went in on just happened to go in. Dude, I, I love a new it. Phone. They're like, this is the hottest phone. I out. friggin' love it. Two weeks later, like this phone, you need to return it. It'll catch your burn your house down. <laughs> right spontaneously in your pocket, just yeah. just People burns your balls right off. Car just fully on oh, fire, dude. Now uh, and then you got the iPhone, and you're like, I'm never leaving this iPhone again. Well, the problem was honestly, like my issue was is like I in probably like the last six years or whatever. I haven't gotten a new phone because I had to get a new phone. You know what I mean? Right. Like I was getting a new phone every year or two at the, mo- you know, year and a half, two years at the most, like one of those ones would last. Always something going wrong with them. These things are bulletproof. Did, uh, did Speaking you ever- of bulletproof last weekend, my daughter's like, 
ordered a like a screensaver for the front of her iPhone uh-huh. and a new case or whatever. Yeah. So she's like, Daddy, help me put this on. I'm like, sure. So I like sit in there, put it on. Kate's like, what does that even do? And I'm like, oh, that's like, it's like that tempered glass that you put on the front of your phone. Yeah. So if you ever drop it, your, it'll shatter that, but it won't shatter your screen. She's like, I don't need that. At a basketball game, four hours later, drops it, phone shattered me. Idiot. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> did, did, did you, did you, you didn't have it on there at all? She's like, oh, I don't need this. She's like, I don't need it. So you, so you didn't even put it on? I put it on my daughter's phone. But my wife said that she didn't need it. Oh, it was your wife that said I don't need <laughs> <Yeah>. that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't follow that part. No, my daughter's like, uh, I told you. Oh, my gosh. Kate. So, and she's probably got the iPhone 11. No. She has the same one I have. Oh, yeah? It's like the 9 or 10 Max or something. Did you ever have the uh, uh, BlackBerry? Yeah. The BR? The BB? When you would I don't send know what it was, but it just had like the little keypad and, on it. And then you could like send messages, BlackBerry Messenger, and, and rather than being a read receipt, it would be like BB. You'd see, you could see the BB that someone's read it. Uh, that was back in the day. Dude, I, I remember having one. Though. I, I love the keyboard because I hated it because I went from the no, the Nokia snake phone, you know, where you have to like punch like if you're texting three times the number two. Yeah and, yeah. and then you get this. I was like, oh, this slide out keyboard or whatever, slide up keyboard. You're like, this is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. I, uh, I've had a lot of phones. <laughs> 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 were you a be- were you a pager guy back in the day? High school having the beeper? College. College for a year or two. Did you feel pretty cool though with it? I think at the time now, now looking back on it, it was pretty lame. so stupid. Yeah. Just pop it. You'd get, you'd get a little beep, a little page. Ooh, you feel a little buzz buzz. Yeah. Pop it off. Oh, nine one one. Uh oh, there's a party going on. You know, like it, it would yeah. always be like nine one that would be the code of like, hey, you need to call me right now, nine one one. Oh, it'd be like, Hey, what's up? This is uh you reached Joey's dorm room. Hey, sorry I missed your call. You can leave a message, or if it's really urgent, you can hit me on my pager. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> and I'll call you back. <laughs> Such a boner. Dude, it's so funny, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I remember get- everybody had them though. Everyone had them. You get a little buzz, 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 buzz. Dude, oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh my gosh. I I always told my my parents got it for me because they just could never get a hold of me. That's what, they were like, here, we're buying you this pager for Christmas. We can never get a hold of you. You have to call us. So that was kind of like well, it's my, good because think about it. You couldn't get a hold of anybody if you, you wanted to. You, you really could. Hit a landline. Yeah. And then what? Like good old days. How long do you think you could go without your cell phone? I'm giving you ten thousand dollars for a month. Could you do business? it? Business? I can't do it with my business. No, no. J- business is fine. No wife. Oh. No kids. No texting. No, no. no Facebook. No texting. No fantasy football. No none of that. <sighs> A month? One month. month ten- of, I get to pick the month, February. <laughs> the shortest month. It's genius. <laughs> well, that's like no football on nothing. Yeah, nothing's going on. It's Super Bowl, but, yeah, but I still. could watch TV, though. Yeah. So you're not you're not in. You got to keep it for March for March Madness. April I feel like is a throwaway month. Baseball kind of starts around April. Throwaway month for sports. Yeah. What do you got going on in April? I mean, besides some NASCAR and some Spring baseball. Spring break, Bo. Oh, really? Spring break. Really? Do you follow it with your phone? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying <laughs> that's all you got going on. Okay. All right. All that's happening. You're getting you're getting in that summer mode, bro. When's draft? Is draft in May? Or is it in June? No. NFL? Is it? Yeah. No, it's like end of April, May. So it is April. Did you did you hear the new uh the what the draft's gonna be at? Mm-hmm. The Bellagio on the water, the big fountain water. Players are gonna be boated when they get drafted in a boat to the stage. What? Dude, it's everywhere. Why? It's crazy. I, I'm like, this cannot be real. And then everyone's sharing it. I'm like, this is real. I think they're trying to pump Vegas up for the Raiders. So oh, that makes sense. So they're they're, they're going to play next year there. I think they are, yeah. The Coliseum's, or the stadium's supposed to be it, sick. It looks, have you seen the outside of it? Uh, maybe a lot. It's like, like a big black, black like it looks like a Star, Star Wars. It looks like a big black toilet. It's just like one of those like black toilets. Sweet. I'm dead serious. <laughs> it's crazy. Zach's gonna love that. 
Um, what else you got? We got a lot going on here, but I want to finish it up. What else do I got? We're talking about working out. Oh, yeah. Talk to me about how your workouts are going. <sighs> Elliptical. 10 minutes. Broke my broke my record. Got to 11 minutes. One full mile on the elliptical. A mile? And 10 and with a resistance of four. So. Like are you like one of those pro form or whatever ellipticals? I don't know what it is. All I know is I'm. It's my my, my work has it. But then you do, do th- then you told me yeah. So you should push the rails up to like twelve because that'll hit like your quads, and not like your whatever you're hitting at ten. My quads are already burning. It's at 10 not gonna hit. It's that's not gonna change anything. It's just gonna change the slope of what you're moving your feet. The resistance go to like start to do like eleven. Dude. I do 15 for 30 minutes. You can do. You do 15? Wait, 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 wait. You can do wait, it. Wait, wait, shut up for a moment. 15 for 30 minutes? Yeah, resistance. Dude. You I'm don't have to go fast. I'm impressed. Here's the thing with it. You don't have to go fast. How far do you go? I don't know. I didn't look at that. I just look at the time. But listen, if you, you don't have to go fast. But as long as you keep moving, it's that resistance that's going to push your heart rate up more and you're going to get more. What's your, what's your heart rate? I don't know. Do you know anything I know on this breathing. thing? I know I'm breathing. I'm sweating. That's all I care about. You got one at your house? Where do you got yeah. it at? Is it at the, the gym? Because you just go to CrossFit, you said. Yeah, but I got another. I got memberships. Everywhere. Gyms, yeah. What was the last time you were on elliptical then? Today. Shut up. Yeah. And you went for 30 minutes yeah. on? Do it. No. You don't. Guys, you listen, try it. listen. You just listen. said you went 10 minutes. Are you even sweating after that? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Every pore of my body. No. Okay, not true. But when I did it one time for seven minutes, I thought I was going to die. Now I'm at the point where I'm like, I was doing 11 minutes. I'm like, I got to get on my other workout. My lunch is going to be over soon. So now it's got to pop up that resistance is what you're saying. And I'll still get that same. I can still go at 10 minutes with a higher resistance and I'll get a better burn. Yeah. Dang. Well, how, long did you, how long is your lunch? 40 minutes. And we got a shower too. We got a shower at our work. So we can just like go change, boom, shower, or go... Work so out. your workout's like 20 minutes. Literally 20 minutes. Like 25 minutes. So you got to grind in there. Yeah. So it's 10 minutes and then I'm just doing 25 pounds on both arms. Just sh- 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 f- three sets at 15. Are you getting workouts? Yes. My like arms. they're giving you like workouts? No, I figured these out myself. <laughs> okay. You know what I used to do? <laughs> this is a- so they're like well rounded. Every time I talk to you, what did you do at your workout? Seven minutes on the elliptical. I did some curls and uh, eight push ups. <laughs> I'm not getting the results I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, and I don't let's know. try working those back muscles with those legs or anything else. Shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> so so back in the day i don't see i don't know how to work out i've never known how to work out that's why i literally google give me a full body work a 20 minute full body workout and they'll give it to you <clears throat> well i'm I'm working with uh take back your life now.net and I, i'm gonna get that at some point the the download that i'm supposed to get but the thing is when i was a kid i didn't know how to work out you probably had weight sets at home no i just went to the gym at when you were like 12 you yeah. went to the gym what gym there used to be one right behind where coast to coast used to be oh yeah i mean that closed I down right, like 10 years I ago right, but i lived right down the road from it i grew up down the road from it. really so you so you would go in there I'd just walk there and go to the gym with who myself why as a kid yeah really did anyone else like do this like i mean did you see any other kids in there with you yeah i didn't really know but i'd watch what people did and then i'd like do it wow I'm impressed. Yeah. So you know what my big weight was when I was when I was growing up? <laughs> what? My mom made this like scrapbook. And it was heavy as heck. Heavy. And I would sit, I would lay there in bed before I go to bed. And I'd just hold this like sc- scrapbook full of just oh just bricks. I just uh, what? Chest press them. Oh, just chest press them all the time. Nice. That's all that was my workout. You can tell. I have to see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen some pretty gnarly scrapbooks in my day. They're, they're thick as heck. I, I think they might be in here, actually. Realistically, what, 10, 12 pounds? Probably. Wow. 
What about push-ups? You ever thought of those? Ah, uh, those were too too tough for me. Yeah, that you can modify those now and go do them on your knees. I did that. I, that's what I did to get to this point where I'm at. Now I can do full-on push-ups. Nice. Do about thirty in a row, not stopping. I told you to start doing a hundred a day. Dude, I, that's what I'm saying. I can't. Well, I'm doing. I'm just saying. You can non-stop. do ten sets of ten, bro. If you if you need to throughout the day, I could do that. That's what you got. But I can't do that like ten sets of ten, right? Boom, 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 no, boom. You don't do it right back to back. That's what I'm saying. But I can wake up 30, in the morning. I can do thirty without stopping. Is what wake I'm up saying. in the morning, do as many as you can, and then at lunch, do like as many set, as I can. Two sets of ten, and then go to bed as many as I can. Well, you got to do some in between there too. Like right, and you get off work, and then I, I think I go thirty, 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 and then it 10. starts. No, I did. I used to go. What did I do? 40, 30, 20. Yeah, like 10. I would mess it up. Or I'd, oh, and then I'd burn up. But it starts to get like, when I was doing it, it started to get like crazy addictive. Like every time I. Did you modify? I'd think about it. No. Full on, perfect. I wouldn't do 100 in a row. Not the just... most I ever got was like 64 or something pretty good i thought i was gonna i pulled the pec muscle so i stopped <laughs> but if you <laughs> seriously google youtube it 100 push-ups a day and see the results <clears throat> i did it for almost a year every day didn't miss a day that's insane why did you stop i, I just started doing another st- i mean i would do my regular workouts too but why did you stop I don't feel like I needed to continue to do it. I just wanted to try it and see whatever. How was your body at that time? Peak performance? Or did could you even tell a difference? I didn't take before or after, but people people were like, dude, what are you doing with your like upper chest? And Really? Yeah. Are you a leg guy? You look like as you're a leg guy. As much as I can I, be. You look like a leg guy. As like, much as I can be. My hips are shot. Oh, really? Football. My left hip is shot. So does that mean like no squats, no lunges? I still squat. I like box squat. Can you lunge? Yeah. Pop I just out, don't pop lose out. A, I just don't use a ton of weight when I do it. Can you, uh high knees or anything or Yeah, I'm not as mobile as I used to be. So when you say the hips, what do you like, no, no Dak Prescott workout? Like right we're warm up beforehand, no. flipping those hips out? No, and I tweaked a muscle on my back yesterday morning. And it like I jacked a rib lit up or did something to my left tenderloin. I don't know. <laughs> something. <laughs> Something was tight on me last night. I had to have a couple of Advil and wash it down with the uh, some bourbon. No, I had a cocktail. What's your cocktail? You keep saying cocktail. What's what's this cocktail? Well, it just depends. It could be bourbon. Could be a vodka soda. What's your favorite? What's your go-to? Probably vodka sodas. What's your favorite type of soda with it? Uh, Waterloo. What's that? What's, uh, what does <laughs> that it's taste? A soda. I don't know what's it taste like. <laughs> It's just like a sparkling water, like different flavors. I like the lime one, though. Get it at Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah. It's legit. Nice. Yeah. And then some Sky. I used to go uh, the Kirkland signature. Yeah, it's good stuff, good. actually. That's actually really good vodka. Yeah. Um, or I'll go La Croix. La Croix. Yeah, I don't like La Croix that much, though. What about this? Uh, you got this uh, Natty Light seltzer flag for us. Where'd you get that at? Uh, one of my buddies, uh, he's a dad, uh, to another girl on my daughter Capri's basketball team. And yeah. he's a, he's a, a rep for big beer distributor. And I asked him a long time ago when they were like, and he's like, I haven't seen one, but I'll keep my eye out. And I totally forgot about it. And then I was over at his house last. He stole it. Monday. No, he had it all packaged just like that. He's like, Hey, I got you on. Shut up. Nice. Put that in the lab. Yeah, it's it's hanging up now temporarily. We got to find a better spot for it. Natty Light Seltzer, Catalina Lime Mixer. That's good stuff too. What does it say on it? Oh, it says okay. uh, when I think when cherry something about best friends. Like that's like I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I know I would joke about that. It says something about best friends. Hmm. When when cherries here, I, I'll read it. I'll pull it over there. That's too far away. But it's about best friends. <laughs> and it says, FaceTime your best friends when you drink these. What was that? It says, uh, email questions to Holler and Hollenbeck. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't, we haven't gotten a package in a long time. We haven't got a package in a long time. What was the last package you got? I got a package. I haven't opened it yet. But I got this horny goat weed that's sitting right here. 
take a couple of those. And I was telling, I was talking to Jamie about this. We haven't. I, I want to try it. Just pop a couple. And don't tell her. Oh, that's a great idea. It's a great idea. She'll she'll know something's up though. She's like, whoa. You just pogo stick it in the <laughs> house. Did you just, or, you take some horny go eat or something? You just pogo stick it in the house. <laughs> just out here, Edna. You boing, yeah. boing, yeah. boing. We done? We done? We're done. Everyone, thanks so much for listening. We appreciate every single one. We, like Joey said, we want questions so we can give you your answers. We'll answer anything in the world. Hey, um, uh, tell your friends to listen. Subscribe. Subscribe. We're, we're, dude, we're, get, we're, we're getting a little, little bit at a time. Boom. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Appreciate the love. Yeah. All right. And then us, I want to hear you guys' workout. What's, what's your workout? What do you do? Have you figured out something for yourself? Give me tips. I want to know. Them. Uh, just go uh, more than seven minutes on the elliptical. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> I did go 10 minutes today. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great, great week.